A turkey and some mistletoe Can't help to make the season bright Mistletoe is commonly used as a Christmas decoration. Kissing under the mistletoe may stem from the belief that it improves fertility. <laughs> But here in Loic, Canton Valley, the parasitic evergreen plant is the kiss of death. It's sucking the life out of Scottish pines. Matthias Dobertin from the Swiss Federal Research Institute has been studying the phenomenon since the 90s. In particular during dry years and with the increasing temperatures in summertime, Scots pines are not so resistant. So if there is a drought, like in 2003, we see higher mortality. The mistletoe using up more water than actually the tree, tree would do itself is actually contributing to this water or to this drought stress. This is one of the warmest areas of Switzerland in summer, hence the abundance of the heat-loving parasite. For its production it needs minerals. Minerals, for example, or nitrogen and, and magnesium, and it has to take it from the tree, as it has no roots. So it sits on the tree and grows roots into the water, water transporting cells of the tree and tries to distract water from the tree. So the mistletoe takes up the water and the nutrients before they can even reach these needles. So eventually this branch will die at the end. The seeds are sown by missile thrushes. Here, beneath the telegraph wires on which the birds like to perch, there are great bunches of it in the pine tree tops. But oak trees are not affected. Here we see many oak trees here. First, they are more resistant to drought, and second, they are not infected by mistletoe trees and mistletoes. And so this pine forest is slowly converting towards an oak forest. Studies show that due to warmer winters, mistletoes now claiming victims at higher and higher altitudes, up here at the snow line, for example. We can still see trees with brown needles, just turning brown, and that means they, are, they will be dying in the next few weeks. If water stress increases in the future, then they will eventually be replaced by, Scott, uh, by downy oak. But if oak seedlings are killed by frost, there will be no natural barrier to protect villages below the snow line from avalanches and rock slides. <laughs>